guys. Wanted to show you what's for supper here. I have a uh, making like a chicken noodle soup. We have a can of chicken. Daily Chef mixed vegetables. Some noodles. And I have a full potato cut up down the bottom. So I have a and I added a uh, added um, chicken bouillon, low sodium. So that's a, the Morskahansi uh, two quart bush pot. So we uh, get the fire going. See a friend of mine made that little uh, screen there. Got a rock by the edge of the fire. Gonna get this thing going for a little bit. The uh, I let the potato cook, uh, boil the water boiled the water from the, uh, the creek there let the potato cook first after the water was boiled and then I uh, just now added in the seasoning and all this other stuff here and uh, I'm gonna let that cook for a little while and we should have some chicken noodle soup uh, right there as a matter of fact is the we unpack it. We're doing some fishing. Seen a couple uh, rainbow trout. Uh, James is getting some bites. I'm not. There's the season in there. We added in. So, so here doing uh, an overnighter here, in Big South Fork, at the Rock Creek Liver, uh, Rock Creek Loop. And uh, man, it's just beautiful out here. Got the uh, fire going. Got the food cooking, sun's going down, caught a few sprinkles earlier, but uh, really not a, much of anything, nothing really to worry about. I mean, we moved our gear under the tarps, but uh, you know, it was one of those things, we got so much foliage up above that I never even felt too many raindrops. So, alright, just showing you what's going on, and uh... I'll uh, keep you informed. Alright guys, we'll take a look here at our stew, see what we got going on. Well, I don't know if you guys can see that. But that looks just about delicious. Smells real good too. I'm really liking this uh, Moore's Bush Pot. This could very easily be a review for this product. See, I uh, boiled water in it earlier. And then I went and set it in the creek to cool it off a little quicker. That's what that little line is right there. And uh, man, this thing is just uh, doing a great job right now. I've already got a uh, full liter of water boiled cooled from this pot and uh got supper cooking too so really impressed you add something uh, like that little screen to get it picked up off the ground i think that's about three inches then uh you get that heat underneath of it so it's really doing the trick all right all right just checked on the stew here and uh it is looking Pretty well done to me. I'm gonna set it over here on this rock. Let it uh, cool down a pinch so we can uh, prepare to eat it. Boy, that's smelling good. Wish you guys could smell this thing. My wife is the one who gave me the idea on uh, preparing this meal. So the credit goes to her if this thing is uh, delicious or not. I guess the opposite's true. Also, if it's in pretty rough shape, I'm blaming her. Takes test one. <laughs> yeah. So here's the 
here's the thing here. I say pour it in your pan first and grab the butterfly handles. Okay. And you should be able to pour it in. Is it cool? I think it's almost cool enough. Cool enough? Oh, yeah. All right. I'll take all the broth now. No, I'm not going to. Boy, that broth's looking good, yeah. We built this little table here out of rocks. Yeah. That way we can just take it. I don't want to take There's all some the potatoes down in the bottom, too. Yeah. Uh oh, I don't want to miss that. Here. Boy. I'll let you get your, where's your dish at? No. I don't know about you guys, but that is looking delicious. It is smelling. smelling even better. Yes, sir. I got you, buddy. All right. These are those uh, Boy Scout mess kits. Hey, make sure you get plenty on yours, too, oh, now. Yeah. I want to make sure you got it. You're the cook. Yeah. My wife gave me the idea, so it's her, her recipe. How's that, my man? That's plenty. Probably more than I can eat. That uh, looks like a pretty hearty meal. Yeah, and still so some left over. I got pretty big old bowls. Quite a bit on there. Yes, sir. And uh, we can get for seconds, so. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I'm going to let them take a taste test, <laughs> and we'll see if it's in count. Mmm. That's good, Bubba. Yeah. Heck yeah. Alright. I like that. Plenty yeah. of broth. Yes, sir. And it's plenty hearty. You got vegetables in there, potatoes. So you got your uh, vitamins, you got some starches, you got the noodles, and you got some chicken, plenty of protein. Boy, about can't beat that for camping. You got the starches for the muscles. That's right. I could use them after that hike. Yes. Mm. Good. All right. That's good stuff right there. Show you our seating arrangement. Collected some rocks and stacked them up on some logs. We got our uh, coffee table over there. Oh, yeah. See all of our wood pile here we've collected. All chopped up, ready to go. Got the tripod. Bow saw. Great thing to carry and pack. Don't take up much room. Produces a lot of work. Alternative uses? No, what's the alternative? Oh, I use a Paco Laplander folding saw, too. Yep. And then the tomahawk. Exactly. Crew tried and tested over time. Got a tomahawk here. Got a hammer on one end. Got the tomahawk, good size handle. Good for throwing, good for chopping. Um, Nesmic. Nesmic called this a, a, a belt axe. Uh -huh. His was a tad bit smaller in uh, the blade there, the head. But uh, something like that, you got it well sharpened. Pretty easy to uh, uh, fell some of these uh, trees of you know this diameter. We're looking at probably five inches. You can use it in butchering when you kill a deer. Yeah. Or anything like that. You can use it to, to bust the, the, the sternum. Yeah. The backbone, all that good stuff. Yeah. Native Americans, that's about all they used, and there's most of those are made out of stone. Mm -hmm. Until they started trading with the white man. That's right. Then they got addicted to tobacco and alcohol. And we took all their land from them. Sorry, guys. That wasn't me. I'd much rather live like y'all did. Yeah. I think they had it right. Take only what you need. That's right. All right. I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to get to my stew. Thanks for watching. God bless.